Hello. Welcome to JPMA online video. Um, my name's John. Uh, I'm an engineering instructor with JPMA in Hoylake. Uh, and uh, I'm going to have a little chat to you uh, this afternoon about some of the aspects uh, of uh, that you may come across when you do your MCA orals. Okay. Uh, the, the purpose of this video is to give you a broad um, indication, uh, some topic areas, food for thought, uh, and concerning some of the questions which tend to come up quite regularly in MCA orals uh, with regard to the electrical content. Um, uh, the topic I'm going to look at this afternoon is primarily on uh, electrical generation and the distribution systems uh, from the alternator itself through up to the switchboard and we need to look at some of the protective devices that are on the switchboard and um, with safety again always there in the background always paramount in everything that you you address in your MCA orals or else everything must be done safely okay uh, when you go into your oral the, uh, the surveyor is going to start the conversation by wants to get a little bit wants to get a bit to know you wants to know what sort of systems you've got so tell him um, about your electrical system what he's looking for is you can tell him I've got three, two, whatever it is, uh, Caterpillar uh, generators developing 500 kilowatts each, uh, driving an alternator which produces electrical power, three phase, uh, at 440 volts, 60 hertz, 50 hertz, whatever it is. Okay, so that sets the picture um and there's nothing very complicated or uh, about electrical generation basically it just follows faraday's laws and it doesn't matter whether it's a generator or a motor yeah the electrical machines require three things and probably the most important thing in there you must always have magnetism okay let's just look at a magnet it's got two poles north and the south and what we get running round the magnet from north to south is this field okay it's called a flux field so we need some magnetism and what faraday said was that if i have a mag magnet and a magnetic field and a coil okay there's a coil and I can make this coil into a circuit by putting a closing it and just putting in a, a meter let's put an ammeter in yeah if I move this magnet into and out of that coil I will induce an EMF or a voltage in the coil and because it's joined together just like closing any electrical circuit if we put a potential difference or a voltage across it then we will get a current flowing through this wire if I push it through we generate a voltage an electromagnetic force an EMF yeah if I stop it in the middle, I've taken away movement. So the ammeter would swing one way. When I move it, as soon as I stop it, it goes to zero. Yeah, and if I pull it back the other way, then the direction of the current changes in the opposite direction. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I need three things. Magnetism, coils, and movement and I can play if you like a tune on those three variables 
I can put movement in as in a generator, generating a, an EMF. We'll have a look at that in a bit more detail in a second. And so I can get an EMF out of the coil, which I can then, in a generator, I can take off through up to our point of use, which is the switchboard or the buzz bars on the switchboard. Okay, so that's the basic essentials of electrical generation. And indeed, motors work exactly the same way, except that in a motor, we put an electrical supply in and get movement out. Whereas with an alternator, we put movement in and get electrical power out. Okay.